Share a few minutes ago. You got something to add? Well, you know, I do the budget every year. And, you know, they're saying money in budgets. But the figure you've been talking about, I don't know exactly how much it is. That's a figure that you've already been used to using every year. Now, are you going to take away the other stuff that you use that for every year to pay for your fire truck? The figure as far as what? The figure I was the talking about. Your budget. You're right. The figure that I'm talking about, uh, Sheriff, is the actual fire department okay. budget inside of the entire budget. Okay. So you're going to take away that to make your fire payment, your truck payment. How are you going to come up with money to continue to support your fire department with what money is supposed to be in your budget? Well, part of that track, or Nelson is, is where we set aside money actually to buy a truck. That's part, part of what that is in that budget for. Probably 45% of the budget is that money that we set aside. And that, that money is up until this year. That, that figure does not exist this year because we budgeted the payment. In this the only other question that I have about this, I've heard y'all talk about businesses and businesses and businesses. What about the single home residents in this city? There's a whole lot more of them. You don't need no. You don't need no 75 foot ladder to fight my house. Yeah, but they require the minimum. Yeah. It's two stories. Why it's so requires two stories for a ladder truck. You know, I don't believe that part. It is. I'm sure that's so. Well, you can show me all that under that ISO if you want to. I don't believe in that ISO. It's never had my insurance ratings, and I've got four houses within 100 foot of my house. And you need to switch insurance. No, I don't need. I mean, that's all under the table wash on that top. Yeah. You know, if we need a, a ladder truck, we need some help from KU where it's winning fault fires. You know, the county gets a hundred thousand dollars a year free money from Galveston Steel. Let them give you half of that. Or go for half of it. <coughs> Nelson, I don't control what the county does or doesn't. But did, have you went to me and asked them for it? No, I have not. The original time on the bid. What was in the published? What was in the bid? I think it's 30 days. I think it was 30 days from the bid opening. I make a motion that we table it to next month. I understand, I understand. I know the bid's probably going to expire. Maybe cheaper. No. Second. Done. Yes. Friend. Alts. Yes. Okay. Yes. Friend. Yes. Um, Jack. Yes. Yes. Nine is a uh, snow contract. We stand with that in motion. Yep. I make a motion that the members of the state to award the contract. Is there a second? Renaissance Tourism, another report. Um, a water improvement project resolution 2009 is uh, it's a simple resolution. Are there any questions on the uh, wish he was here? It's probably why he's here. I wish he was here too. You right get right 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 right. it goes against everything I believe in to give him that kind of money for what he does. Good stuff. It's a motion to accept the resolution. My motion to accept resolution 2009-19. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any aye. aye. One opposed? All right. Please vote. Who, who made the motion? Jack. Who second? Frank. Frank. Charles. Yeah. Keith. Yeah. James. Ray. No. All right. Winslow. Winslow, Winslow Baker asked the council. He wanted the city of Warsaw to allow him to write a grant so he could bring some green jobs into the area. Uh, he wants to buy. Uh, he wants to bring in a hydroelectric power plant um, that that would sit on a barge. 
It would be energy efficient and it promotes green jobs. Warsaw unanimously voted to approve Winslow Baker's request. Kenny Locke, who most of you all know, is a resident in Asbury. Kenny Locke was voted on to the Code Enforcement Board unanimously. Welcome aboard. Don't wait on your page. Winslow, while you're here, you've been. Hold on a second. My kid's question. I was going to say, how long is this sentence? In, in national news, the Democrats completely caved on health care. There is going to be no public option. The, they're not going to expand Medicare. Uh, so to Joe Lieberman and the Republicans, congratulations. You made a big enough stink. You've actually been able to water this bill down to where not only is it not meaningless, it'll be bad. It's becoming a, an insurance bailout. And we're going to bail out the insurance companies. It's going to be mandatory for everybody to buy some insurance. But instead of being able to choose government-run insurance, we will have to buy private-owned insurance. So, mm. so now we don't get universal health care. So, congratulations again, Joe Lieberman and the Republicans. Do we not have? We I'm sure we don't have money budget for that. No, we did. No, we did. I mean, there, there, once again, there is money in the budget. I told the chief today that I had two cages. That there are new staff cages that okay. I don't well, thank you, sir. Sure. I, I had not talked to them. Five hundred dollars a piece is what they are. Absolutely. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, that's what we need. We got extra. We just put them in here to serve and put them in. Okay. Appreciate that. Warsaw City Council meetings happen the second Monday uh, of every month, and the next one will be January eleventh, two thousand and ten, um, at seven thirty p.m. The second Monday uh, of every month, seven thirty p.m. January 11th. Travis Simpson made no comments about running for office, so Warsaw is still without a candidate for mayor. <laughs> Tackle this white elephant, then we'll take Jack to closed session. Jackie Giles made a motion for the court to go into closed session, uh, a private meeting where the, the city council gets to meet uh, and the public has to leave. If you think you have something that uh, you think might be newsworthy, I'm Johnny Masters and just give me a call at 859-757-7083. And uh, remember all sources remain anonymous.